Okay, this is video two showing you how to set up this particular Proctor Pest Dot Rat Trap. Uh, I cut the cable tie off to get the plastic key out. Yeah, it, that is the way you put it. So you put the key on there, which turn it and it unlocks the box. Then you can look inside and see the rat trap. So I was right, you do need to unthread that cable tie on the bottom. And then they say, um, so place, well, their step one is to place stuff on there, but that's actually kind of wrong, because you need to pull, they say pull this cord to set the trap, so let's let try and do that while we're filming. I need three hands, let's try. Right, so yeah, if I pull the cord, it's quite tight, you have to really pull it. trap is now set. So I'm going to put the food on there. Careful with your fingers. So, oh God. Be very careful. Maybe they're alright. Maybe do put the food on there before you pull the trap to set it. <laughs> It's only going to get its mouth on the side that and pull that and it's not going to get caught. I need, you only need a bit of food right in the middle really to, to get the... So those bits are too big. I'm going to... Let's get those out of there safely. Let's try and... Right, watch your fingers. Right, right in the middle. Again, I'll put the scissors in. Imagine that's a rat that comes in. A rat's just going to bite on that with its mouth. Pull it out. Let's just see if the... Oh, since... Ugh, flipping neck. <laughs> hmm. That's got quite a strong... God. That's loud and strong. Right, okay. So that might do the trick. Right. Let me put this down. Reset it. When you reset it, quite often the food's gonna. Oh, you can see they've got a tiny little circle in the middle. I guess that's where you'd stick some stuff like peanut butter. So, like I said, you only want to put a small amount of food in the middle. Watch your fingers for God's sake. In fact, God. yeah, don't do it the way I'm doing. Put the food on there first and then pull the cord. <laughs> okay, so put the food right in the middle so the rat has to. In fact, you could put some food aside, get the rat used to going in there. Get the rat to want to come in here to get some food. And then when it gets, goes for the last bit, bye bye Mr. Rat. God, I shouldn't be doing that with my fingernail, knowing how powerful that is. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's that. It's set, ready to flip down. Let's now close the box, turn the key, let's check that that's shut, yeah right that's shut, and then obviously place this where you know there are rats, and there are rats coming into my hedgehog feeding area, so I'm going to put this box in here, and That's, that hole is too small for a hedgehog to get in. That should be safe in here. So, I'm going to put that. Actually, you've got holes on either side, so you, you want to put it, give them maximum chance to go in there. Leave it with two holes easily accessible. So, I'll put that there. Okay. And the rat's been coming to get all this food I put down here for hedgehogs. I've been taking loads of it, so. Need to get rid of the rat. Right, anyway, that's video two. Video three will hopefully be me showing you that it's worked. Thanks for watching. But just to show you, other design of trap there. Um, the big cheese company traps, don't bother buying them. They did work a few years ago, but they haven't worked in years. Rats just don't go in them. Don't bother with that design. 
just attempt to show you that's got a hole. You see that hole there? And it's off the ground, it's about six inches off the ground. So why would a rat go up there anyway? They never go up there, look, even. And then it's got, see that rusty bit there? That's the trap door for them to press on and they end up caught in the second chamber. It doesn't work, don't bother with that design. Let me show you some other designs. Um, I've also got this kind of bronze coloured one. Again, this one's even worse than the Big Cheese Company one. This one never works. So don't bother with this design. Again, this was sold on Amazon. All of these are under £15 from my memory. Don't bother with that design. This design here, this is actually a squirrel trap. You could use it for rats. It's got a trap door on either side. Uh, these do work if you've got a squirrel problem. These are about nine, ten pounds again on the internet. And then they've got a little trap door on the top for you to get your hand in there and put the food in there and then it shuts by moving those little sliding metal bits. So that's a squirrel trap. That's a rat trap that's pretty useless. I've just shown you the big cheese company design doesn't work. Oh, one more design I'll show you does work this is one of the best designs for rat traps this this one here it's a very simple design got a little hook hanging down there that you put food on you latch the door on the top there with a tiny bit of metal and then when something pulls on that food boom the trap door flips shut and then this metal bit here slides down to hold the door locked in space. Uh, this has caught so many things. This was $12.99, I think, this particular design. Black metal, brilliant for catching mice and rats. So that is one I would recommend. Um, but at the moment, the rat's only getting food from the hedgehog area. It's not going into this one, so that's why I bought the other design. Anyway, hope it helps. Thanks for watching. And I'll let you know whether this design works. Prop to pest stop. Thanks for watching.